Hello everyone, so today we are going to dive into a favorite tool that I like to use and that's called this part. So it's a powerful command line utility in Windows that is used for managing desks and partitions. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do, I want to go ahead and open up um, the file version so you can see things happening in real time and then also I want to go ahead and open up the disk management portal as well so you can see also what it looks like on the back end so here I have um, this zero this one is not initializes yet and then um, this is just a CD-ROM drive so we're going to be working um, with this part so you want to click start and you find command and right here you just want to run it as administrator if it prompts you just click yes just get it up and running and then while you are here and we're working we want to go ahead and type in this part so just type this disk and then part and um, no spaces just one word and this part will pop up like this all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dive into looking at the disk and the partitions, right? So you want to actually see what your computer have going on. So we'll do what's called list, right? And then type in disk. So it's going to show you just like how you see over here on the left hand side, you have this zero and you have this one. And it will show you this zero and also this one similar in the GUI version. This is just in the this part version right here. And you can see. Okay. So if you wanted to um keep going into the the version of it, from here you would select a disk that you want to manipulate or configure, right? So in this case, we're not gonna work with this zero because that's the operating system and um drive c is already configured so we're going to be playing with this one so what you would do is type in select and then disk and then since you're selecting a disk you just need to know which give it a number which disk you want to select so we're going to say this one and then hit enter and it will prompt you telling you that this one is now selected so you can do detail right and then this and press enter as well and it will show you basically all the details of the disk if it is a SATA if it's online um, all that good stuff the location read only you know um, if it's in a hibernation state um, all that stuff if there was volumes on the disk as well it would also show you everything that you you need it to go so that's one way that you can actually take a look at it to see you know show pretty much all the detailed information about the selected disk okay so now we're going to move into the partition piece where we can create and delete partitions if we choose to right so since we already have this disk already selected the first thing you want to do is go back to your on screen right here and we'll just type in create so we can do create partition right and then from here you have to tell it what type of partition so we're going to do primary C P R I M A R Y, and then you need to now give it a size so let's say give it a size equal to uh, and this is going to be in megabytes so we can say since it's gigabytes there you want to always do um 1024 multiplied by the number to give you the gigabytes because 1024 megabytes equal one gig so for example let's say we wanted to do in megabytes um let's just say 5000 megabytes right there and then press enter so as you can see it's going to say this part succeeded in creating a specific partition right there if you look over here you will notice now that this one changed to blue and it's not healthy 
and the partition size was created, which the 500 gigabytes, the 500 megabytes that I created, it equals to basically almost around um, five gigs of data. So I still have unallocated space right here that I could create or play with. So that's just one way you can go ahead and um, create a partition. So now if you want to take a look at the partition, you can just go into now list partition. And you can see now the partition that we just created, which was the 500 megabytes right there. It's partition one because it's the first one and is also primary. So that's how you basically create a partition. And um, you can select the size as long as you go up with um, the megabyte size as you have whatever. So we're going to go ahead and select this partition. Right? Let's say you made a mistake and you didn't get the size properly. You can do select partition. P A R T I T L. So select partition, right? And then the partition, same thing how you did with the disk, you need to select what number it is. So partition one is not selected. And then you can just go ahead and do delete partition. And now, as you can see, the partition is now successfully deleted. Right, and then if you go back and look over here now, the partition that we did earlier has disappeared. So that's basically manipulating, creating, and deleting the partition right there, um, as you can see. So those are two good pieces that you could use to, so, you know, create a partition, and we deleted a partition. Now let's go into a formatting a partition. So let's say we went back and we wanted to. create a partition, right? So we can go back to say, create a partition and this time let's give it one more zero right there. So this is 50,000 now. And if you look at it, it's almost the 50 gigs um, that we had, right? So now that partition size was created and let's say we wanted to format this partition. So if you look over on this side, even though you're working with the partitions on the disk management piece, if you look on the window side, because it's, a, it's not formatted yet, regardless if you did a raw NTFS or some type of version, it does not show up on side of your window side for you to be able to use it. And this is because the partition needs to be formatted. So since we already created that partition, right? What we want to do is we want to format. So we'll go into format, right? And then after you do format, you want to give it a type. So FS, right? And then equal NTFS, which is the file type that we're going to use. And then you can just type something in like quick. And basically quick is going to format it as an NTFS partition right and uh, the quick version means 100% as fast it's going to go through and it partitions that size so now you have that partition formatted and it is good to go but if you look over here even though that partition was formatted right you still don't see it in windows because there's some other things that we still need to do as well as, um, well, just let's go back to real quick. Even if you format it to FS and TFS quick, you could have also format to, if you wanted to go with a FAT32, which is more like a different version of, um, not MTFS, but it's just a different way of how you can format for your file type. Um, I was lost for it. So the file types, you have NTFS, you have FAT32, you have FAT, um, and also just older versions. So you could have format also with FAT32 um, just the same way. Okay. So since this was already formatted, NTFS that we're using, 
Now what we need to do, we need to assign this a drive letter. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to selecting that partition again, right? So we can list the partition to see what's there. We know this partition one that we were working with and we can select partition one. So now we know that partition one is also selected. So since we did assign, since we did select this partition, now what we need to do, we need to assign it a drive letter. So over here, you do see drive C at the bottom, right? And then we probably have D right here that's assigned. So anything that's available is probably going to be anything before C. So maybe A and B, or you can do anything after D, which would be like E, F, and so forth in the alphabet. So here we can go, and we're going to go ahead and type assign, right? And then letter. And then we want to give this something so we can assign this letter say P right and we're gonna go ahead and successfully assign a drive letter to it once you assign a drive letter um, basically it mounts the disk for you so Windows recognizes it so here you are now you will see that the local disk P shows up and you can interact with it on the Windows side because it was formatted properly and like I said, once it has a drive letter, now Windows can operate with this disk. So you can literally go inside and you can see um, additional information that is right here for that disk. Okay, so that shows up. So let's go inside here. If we were on the Windows side and let's say we created a text document and we can call it... Um, Test whatever so now there's something inside of this this drive itself right so there you go it's this functional and everything is actually working right here okay so we can also go over a lot of other disk management commands so we talked about list this earlier right and this lists all the disks that we have as well you can see right uh, we talked about selecting the disk, so SEL, right, and then you just choose whatever disk you wanted to select. Um, if you select this disk, you can actually do something what's called clean, and basically clean is going to remove all the partitions and data from the selected disk, right? So, for example, if we went back to here, and we did clean on this disk right here, right, As you can see now, once we clean that disk, basically it went back to the initial state over here where we started. Now it's unallocated and it deletes it from Windows so you do not see that disk at all. Right? You also can do what's con um, other conversions. So, for example, if you look up here, you see like a GPT and dynamic and so forth you can do also convert so you can convert those discs to um like mbr or you can convert to gpt as well so for example these two right here you can do those as well so like gpt it says it's converted right there the format so this this is converted we can go back up to clean and take it off right there so select that disk clean delete it again and then if we went back to convert we can also try another conversion which is called MBR right there and you can also convert that disk to an MBR format so when you you list the disk again Right, you'll see the difference in between the disk um, as well. It's not a GPT, so it's not selected, but it, this star shows that it's actually selected. But if it's a GPT disk, then it will show you that it's there. And GPT basically means that it's a GUID, so GUID partition table. So it's difference, basically the partition style of it. You can also initialize a disk, which is another cool command. So you can do initialize, because if you look over here, right, 
So if the this was not initialized, you can do I N I T I A L I Z E and then this. So oops, I think I needed to add a number as well. So let's select this one. And initialize, oops. I, I think this this is already initialized because normally it would show up right here that it's not initialized. Um, yeah, so basically I would have to do it before whenever the red was right here. Um, so, so with that command, it's basically showing you um, that you can do a variety of things. So when you see this down right here, this means if you click on it, that this needs to be initialized. But the command itself initializing the this um, doesn't seem to function properly. Right. So basically, if you look into most of the commands, though, that are actually here, if you type in something that is it, it can't find, it will bring up basically all of the commands, which you will see. And initialize is not one of them. But basically, initialize meaning that you're selecting the disk and then you're going to initialize it by bringing the disk online. Um, and that's basically what the, the whole meaning of the initialize piece is. But then here are some cool commands that you also can use um, to keep going. So by default, once you initialize the disk, um, you're just bringing it online to right here, initialize, you're bringing it online. But that's the same thing as if we did clean right here. So if we had said clean, then it succeeds in cleaning the disk right here. Which one did we select? So All right, so once you clean the disk now and you brought every and you have everything successfully completed, then you will go in and set up the partitions like we did earlier. And um, that's basically a part of initializing the disk. So for example, if we did a list disk again, you will see that this one is there. So we want to select this one and then this one is now selected once you clean it it basically removes any partitions that was there right and then if we did a convert if you wanted to do a conversion you could have did a convert and then GPT like we talked about earlier so it converts it as you can see now the disk is now fully initialized the arrow is not there anymore and then all of it is allocated and then after it's converted, right, now you can go through and create your partition as needed. So create partition, and then we're going to just go primary, like we did earlier. And then we do a size, and then equal, whatever you want it to be. So let's do 40 right there like we did before and then you hit enter it creates it um, as you can see perfect right there and then um, if you wanted to extend the partition you could just do similar right create partition and then extend would be the command if you wanted to extend it and then whatever the size is you wanted to extend it so we did for we did 40 and we have a few left so if i wanted to just do um extend it earlier extend it to what i created earlier then i could extend it as well but we got this error because I couldn't, we can't extend it because it's a GPT. So I would have to take it out of the GPT mode and then go back through and um, extend it. But you guys get the gist of what we're trying to do. So just to test that command, we can go in and select 
select the desk. Went back to it. This one is, is not created. Create the partition 4000. And then instead of selecting, instead of converting it to GPT right here, if we, um, we want to extend it, now the extended work, as you can see, it greens right there. And it will show you that it was extended right there because we didn't add the GPT to it. Okay. So let's go back to this disk right there. Now we can um, basically format this system. So we want to do the format and FS. And remember last time we did NTFS for the file system. And I said you have multiple ways you can do it. So we're going to do format FS and then equal. We can do a FAT 32. Right. And then um, let's give this a label. Something we didn't do before. So you can add a label to this. A label. We're going to call this um, data. Right here. And then we want to see how we want to do it. So quick. Oh, needed to select a volume. Sorry. Oops. So let's this. Select this one and then this partition. So we need to select the partition. So select partition one and then now that partition one is selected, we want to go ahead and create the um, the volume zero percent completed volume size is too big okay fine let's go ahead and let's do this instead of, let's select this one list the partition and let's do select partition zero and then since we are working with partition zero, let's format partition zero. I thought we just selected partition zero. Right there, so he wanted us to select a volume, right? So as you can see, volume four is, is here. Volume two is the 100. We don't need that. Volume three. So let's select volume four. So select volume four, which is raw right there. And let's see if it's going to allow us, right? So it's too big basically because it's a FAT32. So if we change this to NTFS, and that's just because of the file type, right? So the file type is just the, ease, the problem. Um, and as you can see, it, it successfully completed it. So now we just need to assign this a drive letter as before. So assign a letter and then equal and then just give it, we're going to go back with P as we did before. And once we do that, it's going to mount P now as successfully assigned. And since we named it data earlier from up here on the label, so data shows up and the P drive shows up as well. So that's basically how you finagle this part. You, it's just a great command line tool that you can use instead of going through Windows. And sometimes you may have problems loading um, this management. You can pretty much just use this part to, you know, navigate, finagle, if that's a word, or just play around with making um, 
you know accessing the, your disk parts accessing your 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 disk that you have loaded on windows and um yeah just go through find the attributes play add drive letters delete volumes and so forth Right, and there's a whole bunch of other commands that you can use. You can pretty much use a question sign and hit enter, and it will show you. You can do your own research, but there's so many other commands that we never covered today because it will be a long, long video. But there's so many other commands that you can go through and actually play with for this part to make it work. So, I hope this video was useful. Today, we went over listing this, we selected our disk, converted to GPT. We created new partitions, formatted a partition, assigned a drive letter. We did an extension of a partition so you can see. Uh, we deleted the partitions. One thing we didn't cover was basically shrinking a partition, but it's just a reverse version of it as well. But I mean, like I said, this part covers a wide range of commands and functionalities. So you can use it as needed so that you can basically um, manipulate all of this on your Windows system. Right, so this was a comprehensive overview of this part. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's just to give you a basic understanding of how to manage and partition your disk in Windows. And basically, it's a practical insight into how each command is used based on whatever application you might have out there. Or if you're having problems, it's also a good way for you to troubleshoot as well. I hope this video was useful and wasn't too long. I try to keep it under 30 minutes. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and Click that bell button for subscription and like and comment as needed. We really appreciate your support. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Ciao.